Okay, I have my front and back panels and my end panels. They've been squared. Now I want to check and make sure they are exactly the same squaredness. Okay, I'm putting them on the table saw on this surface, right? I'm not doing it on a table. Those are not square nor flat. They've got glue and all kinds of stuff on them. This is a machine surface and is nice and flat. So that's where I want to do this. And I stand them on their ends together. And what I'm checking is that these all line up with each other. As opposed to something like this. If you have one of them that's out, it's a signal that it's not square and we have to fix it. But the fact that they're all nice and flat like this, that's great. That looks good. And look at this, all nice and flat also. If we have one that's high, we know we have to get that taken care of. Let's check the other side also and make sure it's accurate. Good. And I'm looking for stuff like that. And flat there. So if you have a piece that is not square, then figure out what's wrong with it and fix it. Meaning during the squaring process, maybe it never got ran through the table saw or the panel saw wasn't quite right. You might need to amend it to make it square. The easiest thing to fix is if they're square here, but they're just not, one of them's not the same length, right? It's too high or something. Feet are easy to fix, and you just set the table saw fence to the smallest leg and then run them all through the table saw so the foot gets cut off on the table saw. Okay. This whole procedure, or mm, the cutting of the dados rather, should be done with the instructor. I like to be right there with the student to check them per square and to cut the dados. This setup is a dangerous enough setup that your first time using it, it's just nice to have an instructor there walking you through it. So I'm going to pick where this dado is going to go. It's going to come three-fourths of an inch up from the bottom. That's where it's going to go the whole, the whole length of this. The bottom is going to go right there. The dado is going to get cut out of all those pieces. And we're going to do it on this saw. So I measure down, that's 15 and a half. So that's what I'm gonna measure on my saw. Notice that I'm doing it by measurement with my tape measure, not with the tape measure on the table saw. This is no longer accurate because we've got a dado blade in and it's can change thickness. I've also set it up so that it is three-eighths of an inch high. And I've checked that. All of this setup should be done for you before you get to the table saw. And I stress again, when you do this, please do it with myself or another instructor to help you through it. If things are not square, if the dados are not done properly, it costs you lots of time in fixing them. So we want to make sure it's right. I'm going to set my cutter against the fence and run it through. I want to make sure and have some push sticks to help me out. Far away from 
that blade. That's how we cut out. Super great cut where the bottom is going to go. Make sure you got the back down front up. And I'm standing away, right? I don't want to be in the way. If that gets thrown, I don't want to be there. Take it nice and slow, making sure it's tight against the fence. Let's go do the miters. I want to explain to you how this gets set up. I'll put two corners together. And so there'll be another two sides right there. The bottom of the blanket chest is going to go in that groove. Here in the corner, these two have to come together at a miter joint, which is an angle. So we're going to cut it there, and we're going to cut it there, and we're going to get rid of all of that then that point can meet that point. And we do that on every corner of the blanket chest. To do it, we use this shaper. It has an angle cut. And is going to cut that out. Goes like this against the fence into the power feeder which feeds it through the shaper. Please note you go inside up. We're going feeding left to right, inside up or the dados up on two edges and on the edges of every one of the panels. Same way, we cut this edge, 